Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Hannah Jewell. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Road work this week in Saginaw will cause intermittent lane closures for several days. Monday, city crews will verify water lines within the right of way on Mason Street between West Remington and Brockway Road. This work requires intermittent lane closures from 7 a.m. until Friday, August 18th at 4 p.m. During this time, traffic will shift on the work site. A major detour is now in effect on I-75. The highway is closed in both directions from Grand Blank Township to Clarkston, so crews can demolish the Rattley Lake Road Bridge. All traffic is being diverted onto Dixie Highway for now and eventually being rerouted back onto 75. Work is expected to be completed by tomorrow morning at 5. The Barb Smith Suicide Resource and Response Network is hosting its annual Walk for Hope event today at SVSU. The 5K walk raises money to provide training and resources for people struggling with mental health issues. More than 2,000 people are expected to attend today. The opening ceremony starts at 10. And Tune Up Week kicks off tomorrow for the Back to the Bricks Festival. It's a week of cruises aimed at generating excitement for the annual event in downtown Flint. Monday's Tune Up Party is in Davison at the Hub. Most daily events will run from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., except Saturday in Mount Morris. That one runs from 3 to 10. Now here's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Hannah. As we go throughout the rest of our day today, it's all rain for us across mid-Michigan. We're also looking at uh, how the rain will actually be a little heavy at times, potentially leading to some heavy accumulations. So as we go into the rest of the morning and into the afternoon and into the evening and even into parts of our overnight period, we will be looking at these showers moving through. Pretty abnormal for this time of year. Usually we don't have these steady, heavy rains like we're talking about for today uh, in August. It's usually a cooler month uh, kind of uh, situation, but we are keeping an eye on that as we go through the rest of the day. The steadier rains will be through potentially becoming a little heavy as we go into the later afternoon hours as we warm up just a little bit. I think a lot of folks will be able to make a run towards 70 degrees, but eventually as we go into the later evening, showers break up a little bit to the point where we're more so on a periodic uh, look at the showers rather than a, a steady, consistent rainfall. And that'll continue to be the case as we go into the overnight period, but still looking at those showers moving through as we go towards about midnight. Beyond midnight, we start to watch those showers really move out of the area to the point where we might even be dry to start parts of Monday morning with a few isolated showers moving through and then we'll still have a few more of those showers to go as we go into Monday afternoon. Now on a rain predictor, we do have chances for rain uh, accumulations to uh, surpass an inch for those areas that are the, seeing the most consistent rain. In, in general, about three quarters to an inch of rain is expected for the most, uh, the, the majority of the area. We could have a few areas uh, that actually make it up towards an inch and a half on the hardest hit parts of mid-Michigan. So a lot of heavy rain as we go towards um, the rest of the day today. And then as we go into your Wednesday, more sunshine there. So we're going to uh, gradually uh, decrease those clouds by Wednesday, but then we pull them right back in with more rain chances as we go into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.